Hello again, it's Brian and Waffles. And hey, sweetie, where are you done back there yet? Oh, I was having some me time. <laughs> you gotta have me time. Yeah, every now and then you just need some time to yourself. Today we're talking about living together on a truck and eating on a truck. Yep. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no, people always uh, ask us though, like what it's like to live in a small space yeah. together with your partner, husband, wife. And as long as you have a good relationship to start out. Um, yeah, if you can't stand <laughs> each other at home, you probably, you probably don't want to do this. <laughs> but if but if you're if you're used to always being together or you enjoy being together or you're semi-retired at home and, and looking for something to do, uh, it's 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 good. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Um, you, you are together all the time, though, and, uh, you know, that's something to realize. Um, if you can't stand each other, then don't do this. <laughs> we always laugh that if you're thinking about it, then you a good test would be to spend a weekend with your significant other in like your bathroom. Yeah, live in your bathroom <laughs> for, for 48 hours. Uh, it's just a joke. We think it's, it's funny. Joke. But the truth is, is it's really not any different than being together like at home or whatever. Um, it, you just have to work around each other a little yeah. bit. Um, Give each other some space. and Yeah. And the sometimes hardest... always be right bumping hips with each other. Right, do some dance moves. <laughs> yeah. But the, um, what was I going to say? The hardest part maybe is just that that alone time that you think, oh, I'm never going to have any alone oh, time. Yeah. But it's actually not true because with, well, with what we do with FedEx or expediting, um, one person's sleeping, one person's driving. Yeah. So eight to ten hours a day you are alone time. you're alone <laughs> doing one of those things yeah. so sometimes you're alone like 20 hours a day yeah and i've actually felt lonely because my best friend is in the back sleeping, sleeping. and i'm driving and i can't talk <laughs> that's why him. we have the dog with us <laughs> and he's a mama's boy where'd waffles go <laughs> he's down here. He's having his terrible chews right now. Yeah, he's been really frisky lately. I don't know what he's doing, but anyways, so you actually do get a lot of alone time. Yeah. Um, if you're worried about that. Yeah. But. Yeah, and we've seen we've seen some people that are you know and, and talk to some people that really have like their diehard shifts broken up where whoever is whoever is. Uh, Driving has the cab, and whoever's sleeping has the sleeper. Uh, we're we're not quite like that. We're we're super flexible and bounce around doing different things, and you know delivery times are at different times. And we always and help each other. We always out. help each other out. But we've we've seen some teams that enjoy just having having the whoever's on duty does all the duties and the driving and the backing up and the the picking up right at the dock and so forth and the other person stays asleep in the back uh, you find what works best for you but right and in that it is good to have like um different chores or duties yeah. split up so you kind of know who's doing what yeah i have an outside guy yeah i have it easy i don't fuel i don't <laughs> You know, I don't get my hands She's dirty. She's got her own personal ballet. But, uh, but I, um, I park it. But I do the dishes. Yeah. And yep. I, you know, sweep up, clean, clean dust, yeah. whatever, organize. Yeah. So we split up things. Yeah, and then it's good to kind of have assigned duties, if you will, of who, who takes care of what and when. Right. I'll tie the trash bag, but he takes I it take off. You know, it's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then also, though, when we're picking up loads and delivering loads, we, we also have our, like, our, the yeah. things we do. So it just makes it easier. Yep. Um, and we haven't had a problem. We haven't had yeah. any fights or no. arguments more than that we would have at home. Yeah. I think we have had more at, 
at home than ever so, on the road. <laughs> and this way you got to work it out because you can't really get that far away from me. No, no. <laughs> All right. But on, on that subject, though, we we do see a lot of semi-retired age people out there. Teens, yeah. husband, wives. Uh, we've seen some, um, you know, 50 some odd, maybe 60 year old. Uh, father and son combos out there. Right. Um, which was fun. Yeah, which would be fun. Um, but there's, 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 if, if you're kind of that semi retired age, just so you know, we, we see people older than us, teams older than us, and we rarely see younger than us. So, right. Uh, it's a, it, it is a good, uh, a good way to keep making money if you're in that semi-retired 50, you know, maybe 60 year old age group. Yeah, just the other day we met a couple that probably started years. when they were doing it in their 40s yeah. and they were both, what was that, they 60, were in their 60s, 60. Yeah. they've been doing it for 20 years 20 together. something years, yeah. So that's fun, so. fun way to see the country together. Yeah. The other, the other thing we're going to talk about is, well, Bringing your pet when you talk about bringing waffles. Yeah. <laughs> waffles is down here. Where are you? <laughs> he's, he's got us. Hi, Waffles. Yeah, he's a good boy. We, we've seen people with three dogs, five cats? dogs, cats. We've heard of snakes. Iguanas. I've never seen that. I've seen an iguana, a parrot. Yeah. And if you're wondering, um, he is a Brussels griffin. Yep. He's the cutest, sweetest. His official name is Sir Waffles Griffon. Griffon. <laughs> so yeah, so you can't bring your pet, and most people do. And a lot of people have more than one pet, and that's totally great. Bring, bring the family, bring the crew. That's right. <laughs> they don't get charged extra. No, they don't get. They don't have to pay passenger <laughs> fees. <laughs> yeah. There are some loads out there that say no pets. Be aware of. Um, yeah. If if it says no pets, you can check if you're allowed to leave one of your your teammate at the gate of the facility. We've done that a couple times. Yeah, I've picking stayed up with at a waffles. nuclear power facility. Melissa had to just stay outside of the gate with the with waffles, and I drove in and, and did the pickup. Um, you can always ask ahead of time if that's an option. Uh, most of the time, that that's that's the solution. If you have pets, is someone just has to stay outside of the outside of the pickup facility because the facility is not going to be responsible for your dog running off or doing something the dog shouldn't be, or they don't want dog poop on their lawn. on the campus or whatever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So anyway, bring, bring your pets with you. It's fun. Yeah, and then eating on the road. Yeah. So eating on the road. What's one item that you always like to have in the food item that you like to have in the truck? Johnsonville better cheddar hot dogs. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> they easy. have to be in the fridge. It's easy go to food. Even, even loves truck stop sells them inside because they know so many truckers just love those hot dogs. <laughs> better cheddar. What about you? What's always in the fridge? I <sighs> I um, always have Rico's tapioca yeah, pudding. Tapioca I don't know why, but that's like my <laughs> comfort, comfort, <laughs> comfort food. So I always like to have one of those. Pudding cups. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Ooh. All right. Would you rather take your 30 minute break at a uh, truck stop or a rest stop? I prefer the rest stops. Um, it's nice to. Well, sometimes rest stops don't have parking, especially being the night driver. They're usually pretty full, but I'll, I'll find somewhere to squeeze in at a rest stop, take my 30 minute break. Uh, I like to go walk around, kind of just get out of the truck for a little bit. Um, and then, you know, if, if Waffles comes running up to get out of the truck, there's usually more grassy areas to take them. So I'm, I'm in with the, I'm in with the rest stops as much as possible. I kind of avoid truck stops when I'm when I'm in route. Right, I'm the same way. I one just don't like getting off the road once I'm on the oh, road, yeah. Yeah. and it is you know it bites twenty like half hour chunks out of your day. Yeah. So I really appreciate the states that have rest stops. Yeah. 
and I like just stopping at a rest stop. Um, and more, more chill, more convenient, yeah. that kind of a thing. Yeah, rest stops are nice. Sunsets definitely don't have as much, right, or as frequent along the interstate, but. But yeah, as you go as you go the same routes over and over, you get to know like what your favorite stops are, anyways. Yeah. yeah. Some there's some truck stops that are okay, especially yeah. if you're craving like taco or something, yeah. hamburger. All right. How do you like your coffee? I'm an iced coffee guy. Iced coffee and a little bit of almond milk. No sugar for me. Um, although sometimes I like a little, you know, cinnamon sugar in my coffee, but that's pretty <laughs> rare. The Starbucks is making it, then sure. <laughs> yeah. But I'm I'm iced coffee. How about you? I'm a hot hot black coffee. Yeah. True trucker. True trucker. <laughs> <laughs> We see a lot of truckers with a big old thermos of yeah, coffee. Yeah, I like hot, hot coffee. Even in the summer, I just like day. it hot. <laughs> the only time I like mine iced is if it's sweet. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. we keep ex a keep an extra container of coffee in the fridge just so it will brew some in the morning or at night whenever we've stopped. And then that way the driver can have a refill as yeah. needed and heat it up or have it iced. Yeah. as they drive yeah if you have your loves which you'll get which is free when you're with exam your loves truck stop membership card you do get free, free coffee. coffee it's definitely not as good as making it yourself but yeah it's not the worst coffee out there right either. you don't have to have a coffee maker you can yeah. just always get it at the truck stop totally so that's that's that yeah. Speak, what? speaking of loves what's your favorite thing to get while you're inside a loves truck stop yeah in my Love Smug, which I don't have up here, but it's in the back. My favorite drink is sweet tea. Sweet tea. I go in for ice. <laughs> water. I fill, fill up my cup with ice because I drink a lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mostly have water in mine, but every now and then uh, iced tea or lemonade is yeah. really good. So we that, keep sodas in the fridge yeah, too. So. Yeah. Gotta have room here, you know. Every now and then you need coke or whatever so if we're at a uh if we're down for 34 hours in between loads what's what's your what's your favorite thing to have uber uber driver delivery uber eats deliver oh it would be some yummy italian pasta nice. noodles yeah noodles. that would be my favorite oh about chinese food <laughs> or pizza <laughs> Yeah. I want some really good Chinese food delivered to me in the truck parking lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. That's one thing, like, um, when we, you know, buy frozen entrees or whatever, a lot of them aren't Chinese food. Yeah. So it is nice it's to kind have. kind of repetitive. It's kind of nice to have a different kind of food. Yeah. 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 All right. But along the way, like, we've gone in different states and found some nice places to eat yeah tex-mex yep tex-mex we ate at like that's, the that's best Mexican place food restaurant oh. we've ever been to in our lives it was, was so amazing it was uh about 10 miles outside of the love truck stop uh east of it's like uh, in between Dallas, fort worth fort and worth and Dallas. Dallas. yeah sorry i don't have the name to drop but it yeah. was five stars right. <laughs> and when we found random places like uh just it was i think it's richmond indiana we yeah. accidentally got off the wrong exit stopped and had lunch parking lot where there was a restaurant oh those were the best we tacos yep. really authentic yeah <laughs> being spontaneous yeah, is good fun. when it comes to food uh you know yeah. you might get off at a random place and there's some uh what was that like greek Slovakian kind of place we went to yeah super random and it was super good that was so, real authentic Italian food up yeah. in the like northern areas. Yeah. Well, anywhere. Yeah. Don't be afraid to pull off the off the road, especially if you're on a, a load that goes over the weekend and you have plenty of time. You know, get your Google Maps out or your Apple Maps and, and see see what's out there along the route. Right. Uh, we found our favorite fish taco place once from doing that. Yeah. We thought they'd all gone out of existence. And there was still one. <laughs> yeah, and we went there, and it was amazing. It was good. Um, so that's fun to try different food. Yeah. 
in one place in Florida, in Orlando, there was um, some English people oh, yeah, that had moved right. there and started like a pub. It was like a full We went there English twice pub. and had um, What's that authentic. Thing? Something mash that I had? <laughs> I don't know, but it was really good. So that was fun, you know? Wieners and mash. <laughs> oh, bangers. Bangers and mash. For all you English people yeah. out there, it was really good. That was good. So <laughs> it's fun to see some different spots along the way. Yeah. 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 So living together in the truck, it's really not that big a deal. As as mentors with exam, we've had a few, you know, people that were considering it, and they asked us, "What's it? What's it like living together?" And, I mean, our answers are always pretty easy for us. Because we get along. We like each yeah, other. Yeah, we like each other. We've been, we've been through the, the ringers of life already at the younger ages, even though we're kind of young, but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not hard. It's pretty easy. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. <laughs> That's it for this video. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.